this is a quick video on how to set your drag on most fishing poles and the theory behind why you want to do it that way now the pretty much the amount you want to set your drag is between 20 and 30 percent I usually go 25 percent which is right down the middle you don't want to set it pulling off the reel and that can be a little tricky for a full-size pole this little ice fishing pole that I use for perch and little pan fish and whatnot I'm gonna use for demonstration stuff it's real easy but you're probably gonna need another person or something to you know stick the rod into to hold it while you do this now you're gonna need a fish scale this is a cheaper Paula one digital ones are a little better because they're a little bit easier to read and a little bit more accurate but a you know a regular scale will work and basically you want to either tie a loop or I just got this swivel on here and this is the important part when you set it you want to pull it as if you've got an actual fish on the pole so I want to set this I've got six pound test 25% of that's a pound and a half so I want to do a pound and a half of drag so basically you just pull it and right now it's about 1.2 so I need to go a little bit more So you just kind of adjust it a little bit until you hit that 25% of what your line test is. The reason why you want to test it as if you have an actual fish on the line is the little eye loops will add drag to it. So if you just pull off the reel and then pull it off the end of a pole, you're going to have a higher drag than you initially set. And you know these are polished, there's four of them on this little pole. but different poles have different numbers different types of eye loops will drag different amounts um, it's something to be aware of and like I said right now that's a pound and a half of drag now you're probably thinking if it's six pound test why do I only want a pound and a half of drag or if you have ten pound test why do I only want about two two and a half pounds of drag and the reason for that is fish don't pull at a constant rate they uh, jerk when they're fighting you and that jerk can send a shock wave through the line and that jerk may have 10 pounds of tension on it and at 25% that's your best bet on keeping the line from breaking another thing to be aware of besides the eye loops adding drag is the more line leaves the spool or the spindle the higher the drag will be and a lot of times you see people with big fish on it's just ripping line off and they're cranking down on the drag adding more drag well the more line comes off without even touching the drag there'll be a higher drag off the reel and a little reel like this isn't that big of an issue you know it only has maybe a couple hundred feet of line on it but you know you got bigger surf reels and these guys this one will have probably 200 yards of line on it and the inside of that spindle is dramatically smaller than the outside but that's something to be aware of that without even touching the drag the more line you lose the higher the drag will get and ideal the idea behind it is what the drag is you don't want to break your line you want to wear the fish out if you catch a fish that's just ripping your line off then you, your gear is too small and the fish is probably going to get off anyways but I just wanted to make this quick video to give you a little information about why you want the drag at 25% and why you want to have the pole bent like you have a fish on it when you set it I've seen a lot of people that have set it just off the reel or they pull the pole straight out and you have to realize that even though it's a little difference that could be a considerable difference on your drag and mono pulls different than braid mono has stretch in it it's a little smoother you know braids a little more abrasive and that can be a difference so hopefully this helps somebody or 
answer some questions and if you have any let me know and maybe I'll address them in a future video. Thanks for watching.